today's video, I'm going to make over these thrift store finds. This little car, I paid um, $3.98. It used to be a music box. It doesn't work anymore, but I think it would be a precious little decoration sitting on the mantel or a table. This wooden box, paid $4.99. It's solid wood. It has these precious drawers that are lined. And this table, paid $12 for it. It's pretty dated, but it has some lovely lines that hopefully I can highlight. Come along with me as I work on this upcycle project. I started this upcycle project with the car. I didn't have to do much. I put a coat of black flat spray paint and some embellishments and that was it. For the embellishment, I just took some white craft paint and added it on a few places on the car. I had thought about painting the body of the car a color, but sometimes less is more. The white was a little bright, so I went back and took some antiquing glaze and uh, aged the white color. After a coat of clear polyurethane to protect, the piece was done. Project number two, the little three-tier table. I started out by cleaning the table with some liquid sander. I use this a, quite a bit in my projects, especially when I'm working with something that it's hard to sand. And with this little table, the round legs would have been really hard to sand. Also, this liquid sander cleans any buildup that may have been on the table and it helps the paint to adhere to the wood. My plan for the table was to give it a black base coat, go over it with white, do some sanding so that the black showed through. Well, like I said before, these projects don't always turn out like I envisioned for one reason or another. This little table was going to be white, but after seeing it black, I think I like that better. And also, I'm going to use this little table, and I think over time, the black color would uh, hold up better, especially when people are sitting their glasses on the table and I hate when it leaves little rings. So after a coat of black paint, I lightly sanded the top and the sides to give it a little distressed look. To embellish the table, I just stenciled a couple of inspirational words on each tier. The stencil I used was Chalk Couture. If you've watched my other videos, you've seen me do this process, so 
uh, I won't go into detail. But thank you for coming back and watching more of my videos. Project number three, the little jewelry box. Yes, it was little, but out of the three projects, it took the longest and the most effort to make it over. I started out by removing the hardware and cleaning the piece up. The cloth liner that was in the drawers was glued in on cardboard so this was a challenge to get all the cardboard off and the drawers clean I ended up soaking them in water and then pulling the cardboard out piece by piece I don't really like adding this much water to my wood pieces and especially if this would have been a particle board or not real wood, definitely wouldn't have done this. I wanted to add a pop of color to the inside of the box. So I took some spray paint and sprayed the inside. I used the spray paint because it would have been hard to get a little brush inside and the spray worked great for this. Back in the craft room, I coated the box drawers and the outside of the jewelry box with just some gray paint. The paint I'm using today is Valspar sample paint. The color is gray. I like picking up these little containers and keeping them on hand. They're perfect for these little projects. Back to my challenge, the inside of the little drawers. So using the old material that I pulled out of the drawers for a template, I cut out some contact paper. I try to reuse whatever I have on hand. I had this big envelope that was made out of thick cardstock, so I cut that up for my drawer liners as well. After everything was measured and cut out, I put the contact paper onto the cardboard. When cutting out the contact paper, I made sure I left a little bit of a lip around the edges so that I could fold it over the cardboard and the edges would be clean. Now to reline the boxes. I first dry fitted all my pieces in the box. To make the longer piece fit inside the box, I measured, then I scored the cardboard with a razor blade so that it would fold easier. After making sure each box liner fit well, I went ahead and glued it in place. I used Gorilla Glue for this. I've used it several times, but I really don't know how I feel about it. It's pretty thin. It takes a long time to dry. And while it's drying, the bond is not very good, but after it dries, it holds well. Like I said, 
The Gorilla Glue does not hold well until it is dry. The little liner was pulling away from the sides of the box, so I had to hold them in place. But once it was dry, the bond was good. I distressed the jewelry box with a light sanding. After replacing the hardware on the drawers and a coat of varnish to protect, the piece was done. Thanks for watching and I hope this video has inspired you to do a thrift upcycle project of your own.